After months of turmoil over COVID restrictions, critical race theory, and transgender policies, there are now reports of two sexual assaults by a gender-fluid boy. The county's new bathroom policy and a recent change to state law are back in the spotlight. Superintendent Scott Ziegler apologizing after two girls reported the sexual assaults on school grounds. I'm sorry that we failed to provide the safe, welcoming and affirming environment that we aspire to provide. According to the Commonwealth's attorney, the same teenager is accused in both incidents that happened months apart at different Loudoun County high schools. In one, the attack took place in a girl's restroom. The alleged attacker allowed access by the school's transgender policy. Scott Smith, father of that victim, is suing the school system after being arrested while trying to confront the board at a recent meeting. The whole thing was handled poorly. The superintendent and the school board members insist they were not aware of the specific details of this incident until it was reported in media outlets. Mr. Ziegler, how could have you lied to all of these parents about what had happened to my daughter? This all brings renewed criticism on two controversial measures. The county's recently adopted rule allowing transgender students to use restrooms that match their gender identity, a policy supported by Virginia's Board of Education, and HB 257, a bill passed in the legislature by the Democrat majority that ended mandatory school reporting of certain crimes, including sexual battery. So that parents aren't aware, so that law enforcement isn't aware, and I think that had a direct impact impact on how they handled both of these rapes. Amid the latest fallout, one school board member abruptly resigned, and there are new calls for the superintendent to step down. His false statement on June 22nd and his failure to keep an alleged assailant out of school are far worse and merit immediate termination. And these school board policies will no doubt have a big impact on the Virginia governor's race. And by the way, Loudoun is ground zero for protests all around the country. And now Attorney General Merrick Garland is ordering the feds to investigate threats of harassment and violence against school officials clearly directed at parents, Gordon. And also certainly this is going to be a huge issue in the midterms as well. Uh, Tara, what can you tell us about this case? It just seems to be incredible that school officials would allow a predator back into school to repeat the crime. How in the world did that happen? You know, that's a, a great question. And in fact, Glenn Youngkin, the Republican candidate for governor, actually just called for an investigation into the Loudoun County School Board because there's a lot of conflicting information. The school board says there's misinformation that's floating around. The superintendent says there's misinformation. But yeah, there's big questions into this timeline and who knew what and when, and if anybody is hiding anything. I know the father, Steve Smith, has come out and said that he was silenced. They told him not to say anything for so long, and now he's finally speaking out months later. So definitely uh, we'll see if Youngkin gets that investigation into the school board. I think a lot of people would agree that needs to be done. All right, well, Terry McAuliffe, uh, one of the candidates for governor, has come out and said, Parents should have no influence on what's being taught in schools. How is that statement resonating in the race? Whoa. Well, I'll tell you, Youngkin seized on that immediately after McAuliffe had said that uh, not so long ago. But then just last night, McAuliffe uh, was or recently was starting to backpedal and Youngkin seized on that and now has a new ad out there basically playing McAuliffe's words over and over that Essentially, he does not want parents involved in their kids' education. So you have to believe, since McAuliffe was backpedaling a little bit, you know, essentially saying that he's twisted my words, that it's not gone over very well. Uh, so definitely, a lot of people are very concerned about education. I think you're going to be hard pressed to find any parent, conservative, liberal, whatever, who's not going to be involved or want to be involved in their kids' education. So this is proving to be a very huge point. And the fact that Youngkin has now got another ad out there, I really believe, they believe, they're going to have big success on this point. How is this going to play out in the midterms, the national elections next year? It, it seems like this is a real hot-button issue, um, uh, explicit sexual 
material in school libraries, uh, the teaching of gender identity, all of these things. How is this going to play out next year? Well, you've got to believe that Democrats are very concerned because this has been a long time coming. So you had first you had all the issues about the mask mandates, reopening schools, now vaccinations, then critical race theory, and now porn in textbooks and sexual assaults now in Loudoun County. But these issues are not playing out just in Loudoun County, though that's the eye of the storm. They're playing out all over the country. And as time has gone on, the crowds are getting better or bigger, rather. You know, more parents are speaking up for their children. More people are showing up at these school board meetings. And certainly this is going to play out at the local level, the state level, and quite possibly in the presidential election as well. It's a growing issue, all of these combined, and it clearly is not going away anytime soon. <clears throat> Gordon. Well, Tara, thanks for the report. Uh, for you at home, I, I just think that this is going to be such an incredible issue going forward. Uh, you have on top of the protests, you have the sitting attorney general, Merrick Garland, instructing the FBI to start creating a database called domestic terrorism uh, because concerned parents want their voices heard. If you can imagine being arrested because you protest your daughter was raped in a school bathroom, uh, that's the extent of this. And then on top of it, you're now going to be labeled some kind of domestic terrorist. Uh, this makes no sense to me. Uh, there's a very definite reason uh, the homeschool movement is booming right now, because people are taking their children out of public schools. Well, voters in Virginia and New Jersey, and there's an election coming up, isn't that wonderful? They're going to the polls Tuesday, November 2nd to elect their governors, uh, the representatives in, in the state capitals. You can watch our special election night coverage on the CBN News Channel, and this certainly will have national implications for 2022, uh, just how mad people are about where we're going as a, as a country.